What up, dude? It's bag day, boy. There's box day in Canada, and then there's bag day in my house. So today we're going to be installing bags on Christian's chalkboard E30. I guess the first step that we're going to do today at least is uh, just clean out his trunk so that he has space for his new air tank and uh, compressors and all that bags related stuff. Yeah, look at this dude. It's not an intervention, I swear. It's just, you know, when you accumulate things as a skateboarder, like this stuff right here, uh, it's happening. It's not a problem. <laughs> up that whole bag and this is all the stuff that he's gonna keep and there's a bunch of decks over there all right so what now <laughs> uh are we gonna do the trunk setup first oh yeah do you want to yeah i guess we could sure all right trunk setup first yeah let's do it let's take this shit out first. Uh, Ooh. waterproof no sound deadening in this that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> Ooh. Ta -da. Wow, that looks pretty clean. Yeah. Looks nice. Bandos. Dang. Look at that. Fancy. Well, that's nice. So they interlock with each other, right? Yeah. Dang. And it, yeah, it's super fancy. It's got like insulation. Yeah. ISO core technology. Wow. That's a fancy one, man. But here is the trunk lining from the drift car, so uh, it's not in the best shape, but it's in a little bit better shape than uh, it's over there. So uh, we'll use this one. It's pretty self-explanatory. He's just going to go outline it, and then we'll find a way to cut it, and then it should fit exactly how that fit inside the trunk. Super easy. Let's do it. All right, so while they try to figure out the trunk setup, by the way, Lewis is here. If he, he helped me build the white car, but he's been MIA lately, but uh, he's here to help us out with this bag install. So it's cool to have him back. All right, let's show him what you're working with. Yeah, these bags are from OCD. Only charged up, shout out to you guys. Uh, these are actually custom made for the E30. So for normal bags, all you'd have is essentially this. You'd have the thread. These are bag over damper, by the way. So you'd have the thread, threads onto where the spring goes and how the, where the strut is, where the thread is on the strut. Throw it down, these are the front ones. Basically it seals here. You have a little nut that goes on here to make up for the extra space. And then for the rears, this is why they're kind of special order. Uh, for the rears, for bags on E30s, you kind of have to do a lot of modifications to, I guess it was the rear trailing arm, right? Uh, yep. You gotta cut some stuff and route an airline through it. So basically it's really hard to put bags on the E30 in the rear. For here, for OC what OCD did was they made a sealed bag. Basically, instead of having to cut anything, put airlines through shit and all that, they did this. And basically, this is where the airline is routed. Put a fitting right here. Airline goes straight into here, and your bags get built. Front bags, rear bags. Rear bags. And this is a kit that you install if you already have coilovers. Yeah. So you need coilovers and you replace the springs with these. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? Right here we got the special airlift uh, performance 3S management. Basically what the S is for, standalone management. So it's sort of like manual management because it doesn't have the pressure or height sensors in it. Basically all it is is just, it allows you to uh, Air your car up, air your car down, and you have to get uh, manual gauges, and you have to plug them into the pressure sensor ports back here. That's pretty much it. It's still digital management technically, and it's also Bluetooth, so I can control it with my phone. Yeah. Cool. All right. <laughs> and then you also have harness. Oh yeah. Harness is actually a lot smaller than the normal ones too. It's only yeah. three wires. Damn. So, just in case you're wondering about that. 
Cool. And the whole kit comes with all the fittings and all the wires that you need for an E30 install. And then there is the compressor. I believe you got two, right? Yeah, two compressors. And so the compressors, obviously they build up air into the tank and then the tank holds the air and then the management distributes the air to all the different bags. That's how bags basically work in uh, these types of cars. So for dual compressors, the only bonus is that uh, you get to fill up the tank faster. So, you know, if you air out and then you need to air back up, uh, you know, you'll have that air ready. It's definitely good. Just makes a little bit more noise, but it depends what compressor you get to. But for dailies, I definitely would think dual compressors would be better. Yeah, and also if one fails, you still have another one as a backup, so which is really nice. That's also why I got the dual compressor set up, just because knowing my luck, something will fail on my car and I'll be stranded. So, <laughs> yeah. And of course, there's a bunch of miscellaneous wiring and fittings that the kit comes with. So if you're ever worried, it comes with all of the little fittings that you don't think about, but that you actually need. Even airline cutting tools it comes with too, because you need to cut those like super straight or else it'll leak. But yeah, an air water separator, fuse holders and fuses and relays, all this stuff. And there's also a diagram that comes with this. So it teaches you exactly how to wire this in. So if you're ever thinking about doing this, this tutorial, I'll show you, you know, generally how to do it, but the manual will tell you very specifically how to wire things together. And it's a lot easier in person uh, to learn. Alright, so for the rear, it's actually really straightforward. Um, so if you already have coilovers and you're doing this bag install, then you probably already know this, but uh, we just have to drop this uh, lower control arm down so that we can take out the spring. Over there, as you can see, uh, it's compressed right now because because that is keeping it up. So, so there's just this one bolt that you need to undo and then make sure your e-brake is off and then this whole control arm will drop and then you'll be able to take off the spring and then replace it with the bag. I definitely recommend you also put a jack under the trailing arm when you're about to get the bolt off because uh, that's the only thing holding it up, like I said. So once uh, the bolt's off, the spring's gonna shoot it down. So if you have a jack up uh, holding the trailing arm up, then uh, once you get the bolt off, then you just let off the jack and it'll let it down slowly. And then you also wanna make sure you have your uh, fittings on and uh, they come with like a thread sealer already on it, so you should be good. Yep, just gonna throw this in there. There you go. And then you just jack it back up. Make sure you line up that hole for the shock again. Back up with the trailing arm, and then uh, bolt that bolt back through, and uh, you can start running airlines. But uh, for now, I think we're just gonna install the bags onto all four corners, and then uh, figure out the airlines then. So I think we'll be good like this for now, and then uh, we'll finish up this wheel once we get to the lines. Meanwhile, in the rear, we have Lewis. How's it going? You have your two panels in so far. <laughs> How's it fit at least? It fits good, but uh, when you're using cardboard as a template, um, you have to make sure you push it all the way in. Like I was using a piece of cardboard and then I was pushing down on it and using a blade to cut through it as like a template. Well, it turns out I forgot to add a little tiny piece here. So now we have a little bit of a gap up there so oh god i don't know if christian's gonna be ocd like that but i am so i'm gonna go back and recut <laughs> and uh the uh, original trunk lining that we had uh was just not in good enough condition to get a good template off of so lewis went and made a cardboard template uh instead so yeah <laughs> so right now we're just disassembling the strut. We got to take off these two nuts. One's a 14 that holds the dampening adjustment knob. And then there's also another 17 mil nut that holds this camera plate. So the way the bag goes onto this strut is it threads onto here, just like these uh, lock rings for your height adjustment. And you just thread it on. That's it, that's it. you got bags on your coilovers. Yep. Pretty simple, straightforward. So let's get to it. Assembling your 
strut to put the bags on. You don't need this anymore. Take this shit off. Fucking throw it over there. It's so violent. Springs out. You also don't need this dust boot and the bump stop. Bump stop. And also, if, if you can get it off, <laughs> you don't need this uh, top adjuster right here because it won't fit underneath the bags. Cool. Yeah. So this is the inside of the front bag. You can see that there's threads on there that'll go onto the uh, BC coils. So he's gonna thread that on there and uh, yeah, that should be good. And then reassemble the top and all that stuff. Reuse the same camera plate and yep. So we're back to the rears and uh, we already tightened up the rear shock, but now we're just adjusting the height of the rear shock so that when we're fully aired out, the tire will just barely not touch the, the edge of this uh, fender. So we obviously took off the flare and this is how it looks under. So right now we're just adjusting the shock so that when he airs out, it'll just be perfect. So uh, we're still trying to figure out a technique to get that exact measurement, but we're gonna do some trial and error find that perfect spot and then uh, update you guys so yeah all right so after a lot of trial and error we found out the perfect length of the shock so we made it so right when he airs out it just ends right before it touches the actual body of the car so every time he airs out it'll uh not touch the body but it'll be as close as possible so i guess the only tip that we can have is like measure from the hub to the fender and then uh adjust the shock accordingly to the distance you want to keep between the center of the wheel and the fender yeah i think so yeah <laughs> yeah so now we're going to do the same thing to the other side copy the height of the uh, shock and do it to that so it's just like adjusting any shock on any coilover but now you have bags instead of springs so yep wood trunk is looking good how'd you do it <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so we just finished up and uh <laughs> <laughs> so we just finished up guys and um, it took us a few hours to get this done. Um, the factory uh, template that Christian had in his car was um, old and kind of like scrunched up in a trunk so we couldn't really use that as a template. So we ended up having to cut each board piece by piece. So one of the things that I'd recommend if you're trying this at home is start off with this corner. This is the 90 degree corner so it's really easy to start off and go from there. And then obviously like you're gonna have to uh, trim as you go. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Dang. What is that? Five gallon, right? Yeah. Dang. Oh, dude. Oh, that man. That's gonna look amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys. So we are finally at the final phase of our bag installation. And we are just going to mount up these compressors to the tank. So basically, what it takes is. Not that, but you uh, screw these fittings in right here to the very top two ports right here. There's one port on this side, one port on the other side. Those two are going to use for the compressors. And then these bottom ports here, there's one here and one there. You're going to plug up that one, unless you use a water trap for that side, it's optional. And for this side, you're going to use one water trap on here that goes straight towards the manifold. And what a water trap does is kind of what it sounds like, traps water, keeps it from going into the manifold and destroying your bag setup. And water just accumulates from air compressors naturally. Um, as it compresses the air, just water accumulates. So it's not like water drips and then falls into your tank somehow. That's all just from what the compressor makes. So you need one of those water traps or else your bags are gonna be full of water and you don't want that. So luckily the kit comes with everything that you need. So you can get all the fittings that you need so you don't need to think too much. And you also have like, you know, the water air separator and uh, a bunch of other good stuff here so another thing is we also want to use thread sealant or teflon tape um i believe either works but i use thread sealant on mine you want to do that to all the air fittings because you really don't want those leaks so uh we're gonna go ahead and get to that uh the way you set it up in your trunk is completely up to you people do it in all different types of ways but we're just gonna have like a basic setup like mine so have the five gallon tank at the back and then he has dual compressors so he's just gonna like you know mirror them and then have the manifold in the middle so that's the goal Hopefully it doesn't take too long because it's getting kind of late and uh, we're a little bit over our uh, expected finish <laughs> time, whatever. So we're going to try to knock this out. But uh, 
Yeah. All right, so maybe like an hour later or so, uh, we're running the lines through. And as you can see, it's kind of a mess, but we labeled everything and we ran the airlines from the trunk to each wheel. So this isn't the ideal way to do it. And we're kind of just trying to finish it at this point, but you can see the lines go through the middle hole in the ski pass. And for the front struts, I had the lines go through here. I followed the stock wiring, went under the carpet, all the way through under the carpet through here. And then there's a drain hole underneath the carpet here as you can see there, and uh, that leads to into the front strut. So you can see it's right over there, and I wanted to make sure that it stays above the frame rail and close to the chassis, or as, as close to the chassis as possible, because you don't want that thing touching the ground and you know breaking. There it is connected to the front airbag. You wanna make sure there's some slack here so that the line doesn't get tugged when you turn the wheel. So make sure you turn the wheel all the way and make sure it's not getting tugged and uh, you should be good for that. And these fittings are push lock fittings so you have to make sure you cut the line straight with the tool that they provide and then you just push it in to the fittings and it should be good. The rears were even easier. We just used another hole as you can see there and we put it through the stock ABS hole there and connects right to the airbag right there very straightforward you can always route your airlines however you like but this is just the easiest at the moment we're probably going to go clean this up later on down the road but it's getting kind of late and uh we've just been procrastinating a lot of time so that's what we're going to just end up doing for now so that christian can drive home since we're obviously at my house and he has to go home so yeah all right guys so a few hours later into the wiring we are finally uh, almost getting ready to test it out see if the compressors work and then if the bags inflate and hold pressure. So as you can see, the wiring is a little bit messy at the moment, but that's just because they supply a whole lot of wiring, like a whole lot of extra wiring. But the diagram tells you exactly what you need to do. It's a lot easier, honestly, to just read this in person if you do plan on doing this. Uh, very easy to follow. Uh, it comes with literally everything that you need to install it for the most part. And as long as you follow that, then all of this stuff will be very straightforward, very easy. There's also the online diagrams too that will help you. It's just one of those things where I think you just have to kind of uh, go hands on and see exactly what pieces go where. Even if you don't know what relays are or, you know, different connectors, this diagram tells you exactly what to plug in, kind of just like a Lego set or something like that, or like Ikea furniture. So. Yeah, so we're just getting that all finished up. We'll see if it works in just a second. All right, so it's about to be the moment of truth. I'm gonna turn the key and the compressors should turn on. You ready? Oh! <laughs> So it should show up on the app. It should show up. There you go. See 3S manifold. There it is. 3S manifold. It's just not showing up on your phone. Yeah. What the fuck? Alright, so for some reason, it works on my phone and not Christian's, so we're going to try to air it up through my phone. <laughs> go for it. I don't know how to use it, man. Oh, shit. That's... All right, try to air it up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? You're just pressing random one? So try airing it up. Is it working? I think it's working. So that's airing down. And then try to... Yeah, duh, what the hell? <laughs> I, I thought you knew that. All right, well, you know what? So it looks like it's working, so we're gonna put the car back off the jack stance and actually lay this thing out. Oh man, this app is super sick and also super simple. So uh, each of these is uh, the different corners of uh, the car. So this is like the front left, this is the front right, back left, back right. So uh, you can't tell right now, but there's two squares. Uh, so one's to air it up, one's to air it down. And then the middle row, that's like to fully air it up or slightly air it up and then air it down and all the way down. So let's say I wanted to air up this front left one, which is what we're in front of right now. So I would just press this top left one and you can even hear it airing up. Yep, and then if I wanted to air it out, and it shoots out the back. So super sick and then 
Uh, we noticed that the fronts were leaking, and that was because we were losing an O-ring, or we were missing this O-ring. It comes, with the comes with the OCD kit. It goes under all of these stacks of nuts. As you can see right here, this is the front right one. We haven't fixed it yet, but once I air it up, you can kind of hear a leak. And so that's what we just went on and fixed. So we're going to remove this one and add that O-ring. And by the way, the car is actually already off. The key is like all the way in the off position and you can still control it through your phone. So when you're parked in a parking lot, you can just air it up while you're walking towards it, air it out when you're walking away. Super sick. There's yet another moment of truth right now. We're gonna lower the car, see how the car looks aired up. So the bags are already inflated. Go ahead. And we still need to put the flares on, but we wanna see if, uh, when it's aired out, if it hits. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, you're good? Oh shit. He breaks on. Fuck. Cool, I thought I'd remember. Okay, so this is aired up. Oh man. That looks pretty solid. That looks like you can get over most things. The front still is surprisingly low. Yeah. Well, at least it's adjustable. So that's good. All right. So it's funny because his phone won't connect to his own car, but my freaking phone will. So. so we're about to see this for the first time. All right. Here it is. Moment of truth. I'm going to hit the all the way air out button. Ready? Yeah. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Damn. Damn. Oh man. Yo, that's pretty wild. All right, let's see if our work, all that effort to make this not hit, it's paid off. Yep, it paid off. It's not it's not hitting. So that's perfect. It's not hitting up there? Yeah. By how much? By, by like a hair? My hand is stuck, but it's not. It's hey, that's not, that's good. It's not hitting. That's perfect. So we're done. Oh my god! Holy shit! Let's see this side. Yep, this side's good. So that means that it can go a little bit lower here, um, but he didn't want the tire to touch. Uh, so yeah, and dude, look at this kit. It's like on the floor, man. Holy shit! This is nuts. I don't think I've seen a click tuning kit on bags yet. All right, let's throw the fenders on for the rear real quick, and then let's uh. Let's go see how this looks. All right, it's super late and we're all super tired. So we just threw the fender on, put everything away and uh, he's gonna roll out. He still can't control it through his phone. <laughs> I, we can only control it through my phone. So he's gonna leave and we're gonna shoot a daytime sequence of, uh, you know, showcasing the car with the bags. So, uh, so we'll see you guys then. That's the brake shield. <laughs> Damn, he can, can he get out of my driveway now? Oh shit, he can finally, oh, oh my God, it was, it was like this close. Holy shit. All right, Christian, I'll see you in the next day or whenever we film yeah. this daytime sequence coming up next.